This is Hawaii News Now at 10. And we start with breaking news in Keohole tonight, where emergency repairs are underway at the Ellison Onizuka Kona International Airport. The state says a 100 square foot section of runway needs resurfacing before planes can take off or land. Our Eddie News Airport tonight, where the runway closure is causing ripple effects. Eddie. Well, this is what we have been seeing all night, Keahi. This flight board lit up in red throughout the hours. Flights to and from Kona canceled, delayed. That's because of those cracks that were on the runway. Now, we are learning tonight that the DOT is working to resurface that part of the runway and get that repaired. They're hoping to have that completed by first light tonight. Meanwhile, although it may not seem too busy right now here inside the airport, Inside past TSA, we are told there are long lines to get their flights rebooked. The state says the recent rain made small cracks bigger on the runway at Kona's only commercial airport, leading to the sudden closure just after 4 Monday afternoon, as transportation officials said they must assess the cracks to keep travelers safe. In the evening, passengers waited inside the terminal, hoping for news that they would soon be able to fly. It is what it is, you know, there's, there's not much we can do to control this situation. All we can do is Kay Smullen was heading back home to Oahu when she says airport officials told passengers there was debris on the runway and they might be delayed one hour. Anna Kao was on the plane about to head home to Los Angeles. Like five minutes before about to take off, I asked the stewardess and they said there's a crash on the floor. By 7 p.m., United Airlines started giving passengers vouchers to rebook and instructing passengers to reclaim their checked luggage. It is now 7.48 p.m. and I'm still at the airport. They have uh, finally announced that they're going to close the airport. There's hundreds of people here at the airport. Um, we're fortunate to have friends that we're going to be staying with, but there are many here who do not have accommodations, who do not have a way to get to Hilo. The impacts on travel could be felt across the island chain, including at Honolulu's Daniel Kanoi International Airport. So you were supposed to be in Kona by 8 p.m.? Correct. And right now, when can you be there as soonest? Possibly tomorrow afternoon or early evening. That's what the airlines are telling you? That's what I'm being told, yeah. So where are you going to stay in the meantime? In the meantime, I may uh, set up a projector right here in the airport and have a movie for everyone else that's stranded or go to a hotel, but... That's uh, still up in the air. Still up in the air. Now the DOT again is hoping that once that resurfacing work is done by before early light, that they can get the airport reopened in the morning. Now, as you heard from that one passenger, many passengers we talked to here say that the rebooking of their flights, the earliest, uh, is not till the afternoon because there's such that backlog of all those flights that were canceled when this news came out around 4 p.m. We'll have updates tomorrow morning on Sunrise. Reporting live, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.